Hi, and welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant, and I'm going to be talking you through this 2003 Mercedes-Benz CLK 500. And it's a car I know very well. Um, not just because it's a Mercedes and a CLK, but because um, I actually sold this car as a one owner a few years ago. And um, I sold it to a, a good customer who had it for a couple of years. And um, he traded it in for a four-door E500. After he traded, I sold it to a, another gentleman locally who's an enthusiast. And, um, and he had it for a couple of years. He's unfortunately gone overseas for about six or seven months and he was even thinking about just keeping the car and storing it. But uh, as I said to him, I said, look, it's not great if you let cars sit for that long. So that's why we've, we've bought the car again and um, we're selling it. Basically, it's had three owners but it is a 2003 model, so most of these cars will have had at least three. Um, yes, a lot, of, a lot of dealers sell their cars. It's funny, you look at dealers with a whole lot of 15-year-old cars, and they're all one-owner cars. Um, but realistically, a lot of them have had more than one and even two. This one has had three, but we sold it as a one-owner. Every service done at Mercedes. We sold it to another gentleman. He had it serviced at Mercedes, and uh, the, uh, the owner who's just sold it and he sold service at Mercedes once and he's had it go on to a Mercedes Benz specialist at about 133,000 kilometres. It's done 137,000 kilometres. It's an avant garde, which is quite rare in this model. It's got the two tone leather interior, memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side, a sunroof, front and rear parking sensors, and it's even got a reverse camera. It drives very well. It's got a nice set of Continental tyres on the back. It's also got some Mercedes-Benz style AMG alloy wheels. Two keys and it's absolutely beautiful. I think it's very good value for money. You can find other CLKs with 50, 80, 100,000 kilometres, 200,000 kilometres. With CLK 500s, it comes down to how they've been looked after. And this one has been very well looked after. It's silky smooth, the engine oil's nice and clean. It's never been in a major accident or anything like that. It looks like it's got the original plates on it from when it was new, which is nice. It's metallic blue in color with the nice two-tone interior and it does have tinted windows. Probably the biggest problem I've found with the CLK 500s is they're so reliable. It's got the 113 five liter V8 engine coupled with the very reliable five-speed transmission but unfortunately they are so reliable that a lot of people don't service them properly it's a car you could probably get in you could probably buy this car now and drive it for three years and not change the oil not service it not do anything just put fuel in it and i'm sure you'll have no issues the only issue is after that when you when you service it after three years that's when you start to have problems. But this has been consistently serviced all the way through. It's been fitted with a Pioneer sound system which has the reverse camera, Bluetooth, Bluetooth streaming and navigation, which is up to date. It's lovely to have navigation from 2002 or 2003, but it's, it's in reality, it's pretty useless because the roads have changed, the technology's old, it's slow. And uh, I think in some of those older systems, the, the latest update was probably 2007 or 2009. Anyway, it's good. so I mentioned the parking sensors front and back, they were standard. The car's just come in yesterday, we've literally just washed it with soap and water, we haven't had to detail it, luckily, because we've got about nine cars to photograph over the next day or so. Uh, it's good, it's got the cross drilled brakes on the front a lot of people say look if, if if it needs brakes just put in the cheapest brakes you can find but someone's actually spent the money on the proper brakes for a 500 but if you've been looking for a nice clean example of an e500 which you don't have to outlay a lot of money on to buy this is it it's worth having a look at if you have any specific questions about the car you can give us a call we're more than happy to help you where i can 
Um, I took a whole lot of photos of the book. I think possibly the very last service might not have been stamped in the book at 133,000. I'd have to double check. The leather is excellent. The car drives perfectly. And whoever buys this car will have a nice, very reliable car, even as a daily drive for at least another 10 years, if looked after. Thanks again for taking the time uh, to watch our video. We have in-house finance. You can speak to myself, Philip or Richard. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you shortly and would welcome the opportunity to do a test drive.